on campus, I think the people who have supported me most have definitely been my, uh, my in, to be specific, are my science professors. I talk to them about what my goals are and where I want to be going. And um, more often than not, they've steered me in better directions than what I would have taken on my own. So again, professors. <laughs> yeah, she was my SDS 102 teacher and she really supported us and wanted us to feel like CCAC was uh, a warm place to be. And she genuinely cared about us uh, in the class and she did want to see us do good. And she tried not to give us like the most annoying work to do, but she wanted to make sure that we were um, at least understanding the information. And she got me to read the CCAC student handbook, um, which I had never planned on doing, but because of her, I read it and I learned a lot from it. And I think the experience at CCAC I got was much better because of her, because she encouraged me to read it, even read parts of it with us and broke it down in a more comprehensive way for us. A lot of the professors go out of their way to get to know you. So for me, that was huge. Um, it's, it's really hard to get someone to talk to you about anything other than your grade. You know, in a lot of other schools, because they're all so busy, but here the biggest thing has been like with Mr. B or my one professor, like Psych, I'm like crazy about him, because he, he has all these things to talk about and you get excited because there's a whole component of like relationship with teachers outside of the classroom. Mm -hmm. I like it. <laughs> Uh, my positive experience with her. for my English teacher, she was like, she always pushed me, she knew that English wasn't my first name, my first language. Uh, my physics basic teacher, my basic physics teacher, I think his name was Dr. Pope. Uh, it was the first physics class I ever took. It was kind of challenging and he was so supportive of the students. You know, he was really willing to help. He took the extra step to make sure everyone was, you know, at their A level. Everyone was getting an A or at least a B. And, you know, if they weren't, he would, you know, talk to them out of class, give them, you know, take them to the math cafe or learning commons, suggest tutors, just went really out of his way to make sure the students were succeeding. It's really hard to have a favorite here because every experience that I have, whether they were my um, teachers or not, they were very compassionate in assistance. Um, they were very compassionate with making sure you got the proper understanding. I like how the classes were small and you were able to get that interpersonal relationship with them all, whether you were in your class or whether you was in the cafeteria or whether you was at the learning commons or the reading lab. It really doesn't matter. Um, they're pretty much all my favorite because they truly take time to make sure you succeed. I mean, I guess all of them, all my teachers, they all kind of pushes to do good, do your work. When I went in to tell them I wanted to go into nursing, everybody was supportive. Everybody told me exactly how it was going to be, like the good and the bad, but they were very encouraging. You know, they kept saying things like, you know, if you're really dedicated, if you really want it, and you work at it, I guarantee you'll probably get there. Um, she's my English teacher. I'm taking her this semester. and. She has even went outside of herself to help me to search out the information and the connections that I needed to make sure um, I not only succeeded in her class, but with college, so I appreciate that. My schedule was messed up because I tested out, tested out of one of our reading classes, and I, went, I had to go down there to get my schedule fixed, and it got messed up, but he knew about it before I knew about it. And he, I woke up to a text message from him saying, like, this is such and such, and we got to figure this out and all this. And I went up and met with him. We came down here, figured the schedule out, and it was just nice that he went out his way. To the people at the back cafe, like, they, they would help me out a lot. Um, the tutors there, they'd be uh, Isaac, Jack, um, Steve, and... Uh, John, the, those four people, they, they would help me out. Uh, they tutor me and stuff like that, and uh, they actually help me like, pass my tests and stuff like that. So. The advisor, they helped me a lot. So, like I said before, I wasn't sure what to do because I transferred some, like, some, some of my credit at CCSA. So they figured out like what courses that, that course I need to take, what I don't, what course I don't need, so I'm pretty much done. I have one semester left. 
because of that. I was gonna like take a lot of lot of courses I don't need, but they figured out like what course I need to take and what not take. Uh, Gaina and the student life just giving me much more information than I knew before. It was just crazy that doing the C4 thing just showed like I really should finish my degree because it's not that many more credits that I really need to take in order to you know get that associate's degree and graduate and that was really my turning point. When I first started here I was accidentally well I accidentally put myself in my psychology classes and um when I got in class, I was like, oh, Lord, um, what is this? <laughs> it made me really nervous. I'm like, um, am I ready for that yet? So um, I came to find out I was in the wrong class for all. <laughs> so it was easy, even though that's something I do require to do. I love the fact that we have these other classes to help you prepare for what you're trying to accomplish. Yeah, I think uh, my biggest turning point was probably when I got involved in work study. Probably one of my grades kind of started to slip and my basketball coach told me about it so I guess that would be her helping me to let me know my grades slipping. Uh, in the middle of the semester I got word that I was accepted to the nursing program and that information made me much more serious about my education because now I can see that my work is paying off. When I first came here I never thought I never, was never planning on being on the basketball team, never planning on making it, stuff like that. And then, uh, and then like my my parents, my dad actually like pushed me to just don't give up or something. And, uh, I didn't give up, and then I eventually I made the team. And then once I made the team, I started getting more confidence in myself. Well, CCAC is basically taking me to the associate's degree I need to start working, in which case I can have a career. So my plan is to finish the nursing program here at CCAC and after that I'll be able to actually work for a decent wage. Something I've never really been able to do and it's very hard at a young age. Well, it's a starting point. CCAC is a place where you can get sort of your baseline. So here is, this is the time for me to make friends, make support systems, meet people, networking, but it's also a good place to start with your grades. Well, CCAC fits in my dream because it's the avenue by which I'm getting to it. Um, my end goal is to be a registered nurse and the quality of the education that I'm going to get here is comparable that I'll get at a university which would cost 10 times, 20 times more. Uh, I don't know, they're ridiculous is my point. CCAC is my big first step for becoming a like, a CPA. I want to be a CPA and CCAC that my first step. CCAC is my dream. To make it accessible for you to come and to be able to learn and to be able to grow is my greatest accomplishment, first of all. Achieving the Dream is a national reform network designed to help community college students succeed. CCAC is one of over 200 colleges actively engaged in this work. The Dreamcatcher is the college's symbol of participation in achieving the dream. A Dreamcatcher is a spider web woven for the benefit of a particular person and carrying all the promise of the coming light each day. Your active participation in our student success work will help ensure that all of our students fulfill that promise and achieve their dreams.